Good morning to Trinidad. At this hour, yes, we are feeling, I would say, the full impact of Ivan. There are reports that the National Emergency Management Authority has called an emergency meeting for today to discuss Hurricane Ivan. I-95.5 News now understands the hurricane, which seems set to slam into the Windward Islands, is now posing a threat to some parts of Tobago. Done uh, all yesterday. Yesterday, schools across the island were closed, businesses closed. When contacted this morning, meteorologists at Tiago would only say that they are keeping a close eye on Hurricane Ivan. Well, first of all, let me inform you all that Trinidad, Tobago and Grenada dependencies are still under hurricane warning. And at 5 a.m. this morning, Ivan was centered about 225 kilometers east of Tobago. Disaster, to put it mild. Grenada, is, you can say, is flat. Someone described it as putting a garbage bag out there and a dog taking and scattering it. That is what it looks like. Just things are everywhere. All up on the hills where they had homes, houses, they're all gone. It's just debris everywhere. People are taking pieces of wood and so making little makeshift rooms that they can shelter from the sun and the rain if it does start to fall again. And this is what we are facing. 180 yachts in the air there and 172, 72 yachts on this side. What is it like more inland? What's that? What is it like inland? Inland? Terrible. Houses are on the road. Some houses aren't there anymore. 90% of the roofs are all gone. Now these these houses on this hill here. Yeah. You wanna see you wanna see devastation? This is devastation. What a sad sight. When you when you're doing this survey, no, in my community it's not how many people that are damaged, it's how many people that are not damaged. Yep. The situation is bad, but we are trying to get help. Lots of food is coming in, it's just to get the food out there to the people. And we are hoping that just not one group will get it all, that it will be distributed to the people up in the country and up in, you know, everywhere. Everybody needs help, and this is the hard part about it. They're just getting it off the port, and then um, we're trying to organize something where it will be distributed. But right now, communications is our biggest, biggest uh, problem. You want to know? Yeah. Well, it was terrible. Very, very terrible. It had a lot of wind, a lot of roof flying in the air, you know. Well, it was re really, really hard, you understand? I ball as a cow, you know. I really ball. I ball it and jam, just save me. I glad to be here today, you know what I mean? You scared? But the hill, man. And the house, when the house will fall. Five, and I had to run for shelter. Roof, roof, roof. When I really look at Hurricane Tim and Janet Tim, I was about three years, three years old. And the best was, and this was the worst I ever seen. Since I know myself, yeah, it was. But the only um, glad it didn't happen in the night. Because if it happened in the night, a lot of people would have died. I'm telling you flat. A lot of us would have died in Balancia. All we have is stage. Jump and dance. Yeah, thank God for whatever happened. I'm telling you. We have to fight. We have to fight to make it. We not water, we not food, 
We not we not close. All we think wet. You know what I mean? Well, this is we the not only nothing. Thing I look, right look, 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 I'm going to run people. Mm. See how to spread them clothes? Mm. Old guys are nice. That's what you have to do. My room damage. My room damage. No nothing. My room. The upstairs fall. Terrible disaster. You understand? No roof. All the trees fall. And the side here is terrible, man. Terrible, very terrible. No, because they don't put back um, any water. It is more up, high up the road. There is water. So maybe probably tomorrow or Sunday. Oh, no, maybe all next week you might get water. What, the tank here doesn't have enough water in it? Yes, everybody. Yeah, everybody trying to pull up the big black one so everybody could get um. I heard that like you find it very much a sense of community spirit now because of everything everybody's sharing. What you find out is like hogging resources. Not really. Now we see everybody making confusion for buckets and stuff like that. My cousin, just he called me before the hurricane about one hour. I put something, a mattress or something by the window and he said, boy, come, come, let's go. Just uh, start my car and I'm going. And still I have somebody who going inside here and he took a lot of stuff. Not all my stuff, you know. See the washing machine. Basically, as was told, 85% of the nation has been damaged, but um, the, the, serious, the seriousness of the matter is this, 95% of the country has been damaged. Every house on a hill, and Grenada is a very hilly area, and the hills are densely populated, and every house came down. You know, I mean, there is rarely anything standing. It is really, really, really bad. All we need, all what we need is, a, is probably a tanker to show up over the horizon, and this probably would stop.